We're back to Mass Effect. Just when you hit that button, I saw your friend Skype you back. I think they might be asking about text you typed. <laughs> Just out of the corner of no, my eye, I saw that bump up. She's like, oh, sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. Char's always been really conscious of uh, of not bothering me while we're doing recordings, so it's cool. And are you used to typing? Is he, she used to you just putting text in the, in the windows? Nope. Oh. Right. It's something you learn to deal with if you're one of my friends. Anyway, we're back to Mass Effect. <laughs> um, We didn't talk to the crew last time. And I forgot to do that. So we need to go talk to the crew before anything else happens. And I almost did it on my own. And then I started to do it on my own. And then I realized that was a terrible idea. Because now the crew's actually starting to get interesting. Okay. So, whoops. <laughs> my bad. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Let's see. If, nah, she's not doing anything. Okay. I should go. Goodbye, nothing, Commander. Nothing different with Dr. Chikos. Dr. Chikos. Chakwas. Chakwas. Or as uh, Caden would say, Chakwas. Chuck, 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 chuck. Okay, let's have our conversation with Liara. Liara just did a brain probe on us, by the way. She's recovering from that. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Uh, yeah, I was kind of worried about you after you, like, freaked the fuck out and nearly passed out after doing a brain probe on me. After the, like, Thorian, you're checking on that thing. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Bye! <laughs> Just kidding. Ooh, Dr. Chakwas has quite a... Quite a Rep vast understanding of Asari physiology. I Repertoire. wonder why. Repertoire. Also, porn! Bunches and bunches of porn. She probably has Asari doing. mags, like, stashed I get in the her... Feeling you want to ask me between her commander. sherry bottles. Let's we see. just told her that she is good in Dr. Chakwas's hands. Oh. Good. Alright, I'm gonna try very hard not to turn every single line into innuendo because this, that was implying something very immature. weird. I'm pretty sure they're out of each other's age ranges personally, but I'm not the judge of that. I can't I can't be the judge of that. Out of out of each other's age ranges? I think so. Liara's a hundred and seven. Oh god she is. I forgot a sorry live differently. Okay, never <laughs> mind. No, they'd be happy couple. Never mind. I'm shipping It doesn't matter to them. I'm shipping Dr. Chakwas and uh, uh and Liara now. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you. Oh. And making a fool of myself in the process. Oh. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. I actually kept a couple humans as pets. Our family owned some, along with a couple of our dogs, and uh, they all kept us pretty busy. They like to poop Who's everywhere. A Who's a good Shep? Oh my god. Oh, Shepherds are dogs. That's actually a breed. Oh, yeah. Oh. But this um, Shepherd isn't German. Let's see. Uh, high strung and... Well, what do you think about us now? I, I don't want to really defend that or feel bad. Mm -hmm. I'm just more curious of what she thinks. Has your opinion changed at all? It has. I have been watching you and your crew. It has taught me a lot about your species. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. It works for us. You can't argue with results. No, but there are consequences. Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as a bully. You run over anyone who gets in your way. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. Uh... Hmm... Well, you know, I can kind of see that, and I am trying to, like, work with council and be sort of a moderator. Um, but I, I can kind of see how how alien culture thinks that humanity is a bunch of bullies right now. Mm -hmm. Like, it has not been that long since we were even discovered, and then... We're basically, like, they think we're the kid poking a fork into an electrical outlet. Yeah. And we kind of got lucky. Yeah, so I, I guess I've got to be the guy that's like, or the girl that's kind of like, yeah, we know what we're doing, please shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did on Torfin. I cannot even imagine how horrible that must have been, but you did what had to be done. 
You could have just asked me about that. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the woman you are. I stalked your family. Sorry about, about that. You, Shepherd. I accept you, bird! <laughs> I don't know why that's an option. Uh, are you into me or are you into the beacon? Like, all of this is just... Uh, I'm, I don't know. I did it for the beacon. The beacon. The beacon. I did it for the beacon. I kind of want to believe that. She was just... She just likes me for me. Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. Oh god. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. Oh god. I, I mind melded with a girl and I liked it. And Lieutenant Delenko. I love that option. <laughs> I love that option. Uh my already be a relationship between you and Lieutenant Delenko. Uh This is... If we call her a female, that's actually insulting her, isn't it? Yeah. Because their species is agender. Yeah, basically. I wouldn't call the relationship I have with Caden serious. We're just kind of friends, as far as I've talked to him so far. The lieutenant and I are just friends. Nothing more. My mistake, then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Humans don't understand human relationships either. Or... It's fine. Was I wrong about that too? Uh... It's decision time. Uh... What are we gonna do? Is this a romance or is this uh, well... is this gonna be just friends? <sighs> you know, I do like her. No, you were right. There is something between us. I knew it, and I knew you felt it too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? Because I'm danger, baby, wrapped in a minute, riddle, we wrapped in an enigma. We species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. Uh, well, we have one thing in common. Saren wants both of us dead. That's something. Way to be romantic. We also both like breakfast at Tiffany's. You make it all sound so dangerous. Oh uh, he's scared. Protect you. That's why. I'll protect you. Dangerous, fun. Yeah, yeah. Danger is actually fun. I'm, I'm cool with that. A little danger makes things exciting. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You. I need some time. <laughs> you started it. <laughs> I wasn't the one who brought this up. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, but I did not think it would get so. Please, let's just talk about something else. Bye. I should go. <laughs> Goodbye, Shepard. I should go. Let's talk about that. In fact, you talk about it to yourself. I'm going to just take off. That was super awkward. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see what Caden's doing. Hey, Caden, because... do you think I have feelings for you? Because I totally don't. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Do you have some time to talk now, Commander? Oh, Jesus. Uh, sure. Why not? Of course. Have a seat. We've played it pretty close to the book so far. You're not Have sitting! <laughs> You're not sitting down, Kane! <laughs> you dick! I'm just saying, try to leave yourself a way out. I've seen what cutting corners can do, and I'd hate to have that happen to you, Shepard. Commander. You skipped a couple words there. Uh, Yeah, they do that. The, the text and the voices don't line up completely well, but yeah. they both sound good on their own, so I'm fine with it. Yeah, I know. I'm uh, still going to call it out because it's funny. Or something. Um, Maybe not. Why are you... Oh, God, he's calling me by my name. That's not the appropriate way to address your commanding officer, Lieutenant. Sorry, ma'am. Maybe I got a bad signal. I mean, if you're a... Maybe there's someone else you'd rather confide in. Ma'am. Are you serious? Is this really happening this quickly? The game is basically just saying, Okay, it's relationship time. Which person are you picking? Uh, you know what? I'll play dumb. All right, Alenko. Off the record, permission to speak candidly, cross my heart, and hope to die. What are you talking about? I just... Uh, Dr. Tassoni, ma'am. 
There's a lower deck rumor that she's um, interested in you as more than a source of Prothean data. She might be she's attracted to that shine on your forehead. To me, Probably. It's angelic. Tastes, but uh, I never claimed to be big on alien culture. <laughs> you jealous? You seem awfully worried about my personal affairs. It's just that we don't have much downtime these days. I like being around you, but I, I don't want to take up your personal time. It's not like that. Look, there's nothing between me. What? And you. It's the real issue here, Kate. That isn't what you meant to say. <laughs> okay. <Leon was> well. <laughs> all right <laughs> then. Any decision you've made, Shepard. Let me be clear about that. It's just my experience that once someone lets something slide, it tends to pick up speed. Do you get my meaning? Is it possible to romance both of them? Uh, like, to a point? I get don't... Get them both thinking you like them, and then at one point or another they find out that you've been actually, like... Okay, like... straight up, I have no idea. I'm just... This one's... I'm flying by the seat of my pants on the romance <laughs> options here. Um... You have an example. Okay, so there's a reason he's talking like this. Talk to me, Caden. You got a little black rain cloud sitting over your head. I'll try to keep the deck dry. You know the records about the biotic training out on Jump Zero? They're all classified. Because the Alliance made mistakes. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. Oh dear. Why couldn't we do it alone? Is there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. I mean, hell, it took a couple of years to even link biotics and ESO. Forget trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. And their choice of teachers didn't help much. The only experts would have to be aliens. Dead on. Turians, actually. That's why Kinetics kept it a secret. Oh, shit. They were afraid of what people back home would think, asking the Turians for help when we just fought a war with them. And the Asari would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. It would have made Earth look weak, so they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. God. Because that doesn't look bad at all. Yeah, his backstory is so, like, shady because of, like, Alliance did some really crazy things after the war, apparently. Well, I guess they meant, uh, I, I guess they might have meant well, so maybe it's not that bad. Maybe. I'm sure Kinetics did what they thought was best. It wasn't best for us. They brought in an ex-military Turian named Commander Vernus. To introduce himself, he liked to say, I was at the helm of the dreadnought that killed your father. <laughs> when I told God. Dad wasn't in the war, he'd retired to Vancouver. My family had an inland home that matured to New Beachfront. Jeez. Vernus had it in for me after that. He cut corners, pushed hard. I mean, you either came out a Superman or a wreck. A lot of kids snapped. A few died. The point of all of this, I guess, is that when you cut corners, it's not always obvious who pays for it. I don't really see the connection, actually. So why are you telling me this? Are you saying I'm cutting corners somewhere? I'm saying it's probably inevitable that we'll have to. And when that happens, I want to help you. When someone important to you is up on a ledge, you help them. Keep them from mistakes that are made by a kid. Important, huh? If I'm out of line, just say the word. Mm, I don't know. From his dialogue options, it's like he's just offering to be your best friend. Mm -hmm. And really help you when you need it, so... You're not out of line, Caden. But there are regs. That's implying I something. I don't make a habit of complicating the chain of command. Oh, guys. Come on. All right, I'm out of here. We'll talk later, Kate. I'd like that. Level up. You gain plus one embarrassment.